Have you ever tried to record something and you thought that it came out awesome and then you checked it and you fucked something up? Well, that's what just happened. <laughs> I accidentally recorded in time lapse, so I'm gonna have to record this again. But anyway, I started the workout today with 45 pound leg press. I sort of did like a challenge for myself. I did uh, starting off with zero weight, so that's 118 pounds for that leg press, and I just kept adding 45 pounds until I just couldn't anymore. And then the last one I did 25 pounds, so I will be uploading a raw footage of that so you guys can actually see me like the amount of rest I took, you see me adding plates and everything, it'll be just raw footage, unedited, and uh, that'll be up, so be sure to check that out, and then uh, after that I moved on to bench press, and today I really focused on my form, because I'm always trying to improve form for everything, um, so what I was trying to focus on was when I was bringing the bar down, I was focused on bringing it further down my chest, I guess you could say, and then when I'm uh, pushing it up. I was trying to push it up uh, more towards my neck. I don't know if you can tell from this angle. That's what I was going for. Uh, I did everything in sets of 10 today uh, other than the last set for the bench. I think I did like eight or nine reps. That's all I could do. But uh, other than that it went pretty well. Uh, speaking of form though, uh, deadlift went all right. I think just because I was I just did a really all-out effort with the leg press. So that made it a lot harder for me to do deadlift. Um, I'm, I'm all right with doing leg press and then deadlift, but squatting and then deadlift is a no-no <laughs> because you don't really use your back for leg press. So uh, it, it really won't um, tire your back out, but I was just tired. So it didn't necessarily mess up my form, but it just made me not lift as much. Uh, so I got up to 145 pounds. I only did one set, but my, my form was sort of starting to fall apart. So my main rule of thumb is, especially for squatting and deadlifting, uh, once my form starts falling apart, I just stop doing that lift. I'm just done for the day because I would rather be consistent in the long run. Uh, and the best way to be consistent in the long run is to not get injured. <laughs> so um, I would rather keep progress progressing slowly over months than progress really quickly because I'm pushing myself and then get injured and then I have to start over again. So that's what I did for deadlift. And then I moved on to, what did I do next? I moved on to, oh, shoulders. Uh, so I did a super set with anterior raises. And then I did lateral raises. Uh, 10 pounds, not too bad. Uh, I actually surprised myself because last time I think I did it with eight pounds. So moving on up. And uh, then I did the, uh, the rear delts, uh, the uh, rear delt fly machine. It's also the pec fly machine. I just kept adding 10 pounds. That's what I really, really what I like to do. I sort of, I don't know if they're called pyramid sets or what, but like you just, I start at like a lower weight and I just keep getting more and more and more weight, uh, partially so that I can just do like a warm up set. And uh, then sometimes I may find that like, oh, you know, this weight feels good, so I'll do two sets of this and then two sets at like a higher one. That's what I really like to do. That or just keep higher in the weight until I can't anymore. Uh, so then I moved on to the abs, I believe. And I did a cool exercise that uh, one of the personal trainers showed me um, where you pretty much just do the same uh, reverse crunches that I showed you guys last time except for you also in, I, oh I started with the normal reverse abs and then in the middle you do, you sort of like cross your legs in like a four and you do you know the left side and the right side and then you just do the normal reverse crunches again. Uh, but it's, it's kind of cool because it's not only a really, really difficult workout, um, but you're also stretching your piriformis muscle in your butt and uh, it's pretty cool that you can work out uh, your abs and stretch a muscle in your butt so it's, you know it's, it's a win-win so I like doing that um, it was pretty difficult and then I moved on to calves and I just wanted to show you guys uh, me doing calves on the bench press because there are tons of different ways that you can work your calves uh, I mean you could do it at the bottom of the stairs I wouldn't recommend doing it at the top of the stairs because if you take a tumble it's gonna be a long tumble uh, but if you do it at the bottom you're not very, really falling that far so all you really need is something to hold on to I mean you could just hold on to a person you could hold on to a chair a table bench press um, the thing I use at Brockport is like a stretching sort of contraption. <laughs> uh, basically, you just need to hold on to something. And uh, I like that I could uh, do this on here because the stretching thing that I use at Brockport, I can only bring my foot down to the ground. In this one, I can actually bring my foot below. I can bring it to like a negative. So I'm actually going through a wider range of motion. So I feel like I can get a better exercise from that. And uh, I think that was it, other than, um, oh, my warm-up. I always forget to show you guys a warm-up, I swear. I'm going to try to get better at that, but I did videotape it. So this is me running. I just did a, like, ten, I did 10 minutes, and I started off at, like, 6.1 miles an hour. And every minute, I just amped up uh, 0.1 mile an hour faster. And I think I ended at, like, a cumulative, like, 8.30 pace or something, like, around there anyway. Um, 
But it, it's kind of funny thinking back to like when I was on the college cross country team and I would do like a two mile warm up and then a workout and then a two mile cool down all at like eight minute pace and that was like a jog. And now I'm, it was sort of a little bit faster than a jog. It was still a warm up though. Um, but you know, just, it sucks. It always sucks looking back and seeing how fast you were. But I mean, it's also great looking back and seeing where I was, you know, when I was in a wheelchair. So, you know, it's, it's good to always be hungry and be striving for more, but you know, be thankful for what you have as well. And uh, anyway, enough of that. Hopefully I'll see you guys next week.